Now, let me get this right out of the way and just say it now. I hate gimmick formers. I think that because most of the time when they use gimmicks in a transformer toy, they hinder the figure. However, I do have to say with this figure, they don't. The figure the gimmicks actually work with the toy. And you know, he's got a nice biting action. It doesn't mess with his head articulation. He's got nice claws that just pop out like so. Doesn't mess with his arm articulation. He even has a sweet ass mode where you just pretty much, there's a button right there. See it right here? You press it and bam, two cans flap, fall, fly out. You just pull that out. No! I unpicked this. Yeah. And then you've got a, a cat with, lined with frickin' guns coming out of his mane, which is pretty badass. And then, you know, of course, you just take this and you put in his six diff one of his six different missiles, like so. And voila, you got one pussy you don't fuck with. And, you know, you can shoot them and they shoot out. I'm not going to shoot them because I don't want to be losing any of these. So, ultimately, I have to say, his beast mode gets a perfect 10. I mean, he's got nice articulation. It's, it's really nice. Now, I'm going to just speed through his transformation here, and I'll just kind of explain it to you. So, here, well, let me just do it. First off, you just pull these out like so. So they're hanging down. You bring this up and around. That's going to keep happening. Take his head. You pull it out from this compartment here. Pull that up. Straighten out his legs. Turn his knees around. So kick out his heel spurs. Turn his feet. Then you just take his arms and you put them, you slide them in so they fit, like so. Then you bring them down like thus. You pull this back, just monkey with his hands. Voila. You got Leo Convoy in all of his greatness. Now, I, I do have a few complaints about this about his actual robot mode. His his arms aren't actually really attached in there, they're just kind of floating. But at the same time, they're put in just well enough that it works. And there we go. Sorry about that. Now, Leo Convoy comes with a slew of missiles. It comes with six, but he only has four, four cannons. Huh. Overkill? Or maybe not. If you Now, what you do is you can flip these out. Again, put his cannons, his missiles in his cannons, like so. And then you have two more bad boys left. Well, his hands have holes in them, and you can put Raining too, and he has clubs. This guy is pretty decked out. And I love how decked out he is. 
I mean, if I can just zoom out here, look at that. Look at that awesomeness. He is just, he is ready to kick some ass. And I love it. Now, the gimmick that I was trying to show you earlier and wasn't working is, in fact, his spinning lion mane. Oh, by the way, his transformation gets a 10 because it's awesome. You just pretty much fold these, these bits back, turn them around like so, and... Voila. Pretty awesome. Again, the only downside is, is that his main kind of does get in his in the way, but I mean, you know, if you just if you do it like that, it's it's pretty good. Um, it also comes with his own matrix, and yeah, I don't think if I mentioned this before, but his transformation gets a perfect ten. It's a lot of fun, and it, it's it's pretty damn easy. He also has full use of his claws, so. You know, you can have his claws out like that. And essentially, his articulation is great. I mean, he's got, he's got waist, he's got head, his arms are somewhat impeded by his lion transformation but not real I mean not really I mean he can still it's got full elbow articulation knees foot I mean he's a good figure all in all so you know robot mode gets a 10 you know beast mode gets a 10 his transformation gets a 10 now for this for nostalgia he gets a perfect 10 because this is this is a character right out of the show and the comic and they just did a wonderful job making this figure I'm so glad that I picked him up while I was in Japan um, and then lastly playability his playability is amazing I mean you can you know you can do almost anything with his you take his cannons out they're not wanting to come out There we go. You can put them in his hand. And you know, yeah, he's got some pretty dinky little guns, but I don't know, I, I kinda like them. Because it makes him more like a um, like an old school gunslinger, and plus when you put when you, you know when you put the missiles in to his guns, they're not so bad. And I, I really like the fact that his guns are actually so small because um, you know, with a lot of the with the Japanese Transformers, their guns are ridiculously huge. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really glad I picked this guy up. I'm just, what my thing is, is with the playability, I'm just sad because of the fact he was only available in Japan. I mean, kids would have loved this figure here in America. I would have loved to have this figure as a kid. I mean, I, I don't see why they didn't try to bring him over or anything like that, but... You know, say la vie. Any case, that's Leo Convoy, an awesome figure. And if you if you run into someone selling this for a reasonable price, I'm gonna highly recommend him. This is this figure right here is amazing, and really should be bought and put in your collection. I love it. His detailing is great. It's just I, there's not enough good things. Good things I can say about this figure. It's just it's an amazing figure. So, anyways, um, this is I'm Kirk Scalber saying, buy this ASAP, and uh, take it easy. Have it easy. Take it twice. Later, guys.